Well, the purpose of the New York Math Briefs is to basically provide guidance to teachers in terms of what the state of the science says in terms of how we should be assessing and teaching. You mentioned grave omissions and inaccuracies in summarizing what's purported to be evidence-based math instruction. The briefs are mostly this group's opinion they're entitled to, but it doesn't reflect the state of the science because clearly they didn't review the science. What they did cite was mostly books, personal opinion essays, teacher workbooks. They're not peer-reviewed articles. Your letter details several factual inaccuracies in the briefs. Myth number two, explicit instruction is only for students with disability. So what exactly do the briefs say about explicit instruction? They say step-by-step instruction can support students to learn mathematical procedures. Much of this research is focused specifically on students with disabilities. I don't know where they got that. Whether you're a student who historically has struggled in math or a student who, frankly, is gifted in math. We have hundreds, if not thousands, of articles that are of a very, very high quality in reading and math, showing that explicit instruction is highly efficient and can teach skills remarkably quickly. Even when they do mention it, they really belittle it. Explicit instruction is good for anyone that's learning a new skill. Why can't people see that this is also essential in math if they can see it's essential in reading? There is a broader science of learning. The way humans learn, it is the same across fields in terms of the quickest way they gain knowledge through very purposeful, specific teaching, lots of recall and practice, whether it be math, whether it be reading, whether it be history, If you haven't been taught that there's broader principles in terms of how humans acquire knowledge, then maybe you think it's domain specific. But I'm here to tell you, it's the same. The fact that we're sort of having a reading renaissance, it's wonderful, but there's no reason that we should wait another half century for math to have the same renaissance, right? Because that's how long it took in reading. It can happen right now. And we can save generations of people struggle with mathematics and make them far more competitive for jobs and good careers if we can generalize that information over right now. What can we do to help? Please sign the petition. You can sign it with a public signature or you can sign it confidentially. My goal here is for New York State, in terms of our education system, to come out stronger with kids that are better in math and more confident with it. Please share it on social media. Every New York State citizen has a stake in this. And I think it's also a good bellwether for the country. We just need to organize and get our heads on straight and follow the science.